Lord, we worship you. Have your Hallelujah. way. Glory to God. Mm. and I broke a screen.
don't do anything Do something that you've never done before You're amazing Do something that you've never done before You can do anything Do something that you've never done before Something that you've never done before You can do anything Do something that you've never done before You're amazing Do something that you've never done before You can do anything Do something that you've never done before
something that you've never done before. You can do anything. Do something that you've never done before. You're amazing. Do something that you've never done before. You can do anything. Something that you've never done before You're amazing You're amazing You're amazing You're amazing You can do anything You're amazing You're amazing. You're amazing. You can do anything. You're amazing. You're amazing. You're amazing. You can do anything.
praise, Lord, we worship you. We magnify your name. We glorify you. Lord, we glorify you. Lord, we, we worship you. As we continue to worship you. Let your glory fill this house. If you have tithes and offerings, you bring me to say you can do that at this time. I thank you for rebuking the devourer. For their sake, you open in the windows of heaven. Pour them out a blessing that are never enough to receive it. Give them the desires of their heart. We thank you for it, Lord. We worship you. 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 Let your glory fill this house. Let your praises fill our mouth. Let each vessel offer up to you. Sacrifice of
grande a Galveston Island, right here at Church on the Beach, 45th and Seawall. Lord, we thank you for your Holy Spirit. We thank you for your presence. We thank you for your fire. Lord, we thank you that your healing presence and your healing anointing is here. Oh, we worship you. We worship you. We worship you. We magnify your name. I'm okay. Thank you. Lord, we worship you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We worship you. Yes. Maybe you want to get it where people can... Yes. In the between the people. Yes. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. We worship you. We worship you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. As I was standing just right over there, all the study that I've been doing, original words, everything, even this morning, hours of travail, the Lord just pulled that message out from under me. <laughs> Glory to God. As I was standing there in worship. Glory to God. And so what do you do? You just, you, you, you got to know His voice. You better know His voice. Go where He tells you to go. So the title of the message is the same. Thrones. Which one will you be at? Thrones is not a game. Which one will you be at? Hebrews 9.27 It's point unto man wants to die after that the judgment. And the Lord's been having us deal with the two judgments judgment seat of Christ for the believer and we haven't really got in depth to the great white throne judgment yet for the unbeliever because we're believing that more and more people that don't know Jesus personally that are hearing this are going to make him their Lord and Savior if there's anybody that's kind of backslid or slipped away it's real easy to get back amen especially when the Holy Spirit is moving amen Oh, uh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. So, this will be part 17, but this is going to be a, a message on God's healing power. God's, everybody say, God's healing power. Not only is God a Savior, not only is He a baptizer with the Holy Spirit and fire, but He's a mighty healer. He does created miracles. He's never changed. Amen. He's still doing created miracles. We see Him do created miracles. Amen. Right here He's done created miracles. He's the healer. Not man. Man's not a healer. Jesus paid the price for our healing. And so, what do you know but... He pulls all that out from under me, but He has me go back to Psalm 103. So, this will all tie in. Because God doesn't make mistakes. Psalm 103, beginning with verse 1, says, and there's cold waters if you need one. Uh, 
Um, just help yourself. This is this is real in, informal. Um, we're probably going to have to increase the cold waters because of the temperature um, out here. But we praise God for water. Amen? Amen. Psalm 103, beginning with verse 5. Bless the Lord, O my soul. This is, this is part of what I pray. Before. There's a number of scriptures I bring back to God before I even get out of bed for the day. This is one of them. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all is within me. I bless your holy name. I bless the Lord, O my soul, and I, I forget not each one. Because I believe one translation adds each one. So when I'm usually confessing Scripture back to the Lord, it's a, it's a hybrid of translations and Greek and Hebrew definitions that I bring back to Him after my study because it just goes down in my spirit and I bring it back. Holy Spirit brings it back up, brings it back to Him. Amen. So I bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all is within me. Bless His holy name. Notice... This is David, by the Holy Spirit, wrote this psalm. Notice it doesn't say, I will bless the Lord. It is a command. David was going through a great trial during this time in his life. And he was having to command his soul. Everybody say, I am a spirit. I am a spirit. God is a spirit. God is a spirit. They that worship Him must worship Him in spirit and in truth. I have a soul, my mind, my will, and my emotions, and I live in a physical body, which is my earth suit. If I lose my earth suit, I have to leave the planet. That's the rules of planet earth. <laughs> It's like you have to have a space suit right now until we get our glorified bodies to go out of space. When we get our glorified bodies, we won't need that. Hallelujah. We'll be changed in the moment in the twinkling of an eye. Glory. Right. We'll meet the Lord in the air. Amen. Dead in Christ arise first. And then we will arrive. We'll be caught up together to meet them, Him in the clouds. And so shall we forever be with the Lord. Yeah. Glory yeah. to God. That's the next great event on God's calendar. But God is going to have a gr His greatest move of God before then. And we're, this is a part of that move. Amen. There's no way that I would just be standing out here after over 46 years of ministry and just standing out here on the seawall and calling it church on the beach unless I've heard God's voice. Amen. 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 And that's the only reason to do anything is that is that God said, Amen. But David, in his great trial, his in other words, his mind, his will, his emotions, his feelings, he wasn't feeling like praising the Lord. He he was commanding his soul, and the command was, "Bless the Lord, O my soul." In other words, I am commanding you, O mind. I am commanding you my will. I am commanding my emotions, my feelings, and everything that is within me. I'm commanding you to bless the Lord. Not only O oh my soul, but all that is within me. Bless His holy name. And that's what I do in the bed because my body doesn't feel like doing it. But sometimes it's it's three in the morning or four or somewhere around two, I believe, this morning. And the Lord wanted me to get up. And so I start commanding my soul with the Word of God. I speak it out loud. And then God activates me, gives me strength to get up and get going because He wants me down in my secret place so that I can get to His secret place. Amen. Because I have a travailing chair, and when I hit there, travail will come out of my belly giving birth to the visions and things that God has commissioned me to do. And things in your lives, those connected with us in the ministry. Amen. Giving birth to those things that God has called you to do. Everybody, God has called you to do something. Amen. 
And so bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all of them. Bless your holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not each one of all your benefits. He was commanding his his mind, mind, soul, body. Don't forget the benefits. Don't forget the benefits. Don't forget the benefits of Hesed. Don't forget the benefits of the covenant. Bless His holy name. And then He says, then He's going to start listing the benefits that He, he's, that he has to re keep reminding His soul not to forget. Number one, who forgives all my iniquities. Say that. You forgive all my iniquities. Number two, who heals all my diseases. Say that. You heal all my diseases. That's one of the benefits. Say it again. Somebody's having trouble believing that. Say who forgives all my iniquities. Say you can you can believe that. Why can't why not the other benefit? Next the very next one. Say who heals all my diseases. Say it one more time. Who forgives all my iniquities. Who heals all my diseases. One translation goes each one of. So let's do this. Who forgives each one of all my iniquities. Who forgives each one of all my diseases. Glory to God. Then the next benefit. Who redeems my life from destruction. Lord, You redeem my life. Say it, You redeem my life from destruction. There may be others that are going through destruction, but you've got to remind yourself just like David did that God has redeemed your life from destruction. He didn't say in it. He said from. Notice the words of the Scripture. From. Then, he, here's the two crowns we've been talking about that we're supposed to be wearing this side of heaven. Who crowns me? Say, who crowns me? With hesed. Your translation says loving kindness probably. The Hebrew word is hesed. Which means what? Covenant loyalty. Everybody say covenant loyalty. Reciprocal covenant. In other words, in other words, God's going to keep His word. He's crowned me with the crown of loving kindness. English. That's that's too vague. The Hebrew word means covenant loyalty. God is loyal to His covenant. This is part of the covenant. Who forgives each one of all my iniquities? Who heals each one of all my diseases? Who redeems my life from destruction? Who crowns me with head, with covenant loyalty, reciprocal covenant, and tender mercies or compassion or womb as cherishing the fetus, which we haven't got to yet. Who satisfies? Everybody say who satisfies my mouth, my, mouth. my, years, my years, my life, my life. and my desire, my desire with good things. So that my youth is renewed like the eagles. One translation says mouth. One translation says lives. Years. Desires. Those are different translations. Different parts of the original word. Glory to God. Those of you connected with our ministry, whether you know it or not, I include you in this. Amen. Before I get out of bed. Glory to God. Now turn to Isaiah chapter 53. Beginning with verse 4. Isaiah 53 beginning with verse 4 says, I'm going to read it just casually first. Surely He has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we esteemed Him stricken, smitten by God and afflicted. But He was wounded for our transgressions. 
He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement for our peace was upon Him, and by His stripes we are healed. Now, I'm going to go into some original Hebrew words, and then I'm going to give you the Nightmanus translation. The phrase has born. Everybody say has born. has born. It's the Hebrew word nosal. Everybody say nosal. nosal. You're going to get a quick Hebrew word, real quick lesson. Nosal means to lift, to carry, to take away. Everybody say to lift, to, lift, to, carry, to carry, to take away. To take away. Our griefs is the Hebrew word holy. Everybody say holy. holy. Holy means malady, anxiety, calamity, disease, grief, and sickness. The word carried is the Hebrew word sabal. Everybody say sabal. Sabal means to bear a load. To, to transport. To drag oneself along. Jesus was dragging Himself along headed to that cross so that you could be healed. I'm almost getting ahead of myself. Sorrows is the Hebrew word makob. Everybody say makob. Makob means anguish, affliction, grief, pain, sorrow. The phrase for our transgressions is the Hebrew word pesha. Everybody say pesha. Pesha means guilt, punishment, transgression, sin, rebellion. The phrase our peace is the Hebrew word, most of you are familiar with this word, shalom. Everybody say shalom. Shalom means wholeness, soundness, safety, prosperity, health, welfare, security. Justice, tranquility, freedom from disaster, no good thing withheld. Nothing missing, nothing lacking, nothing broken. That one Hebrew word means all of that. It takes that many English words to say what that means. And by His stripes... Now don't go jump a minister because... They say, by His stripes, you're healed. But after this message, you're going to have different information. Because it is not plural in the Old Testament, and it is not plural in the New Testament. The Hebrew word translated in by His stripes is Haburah. Everybody say Haburah. Habara means bruise, singular. If I say bruise, it means a strike, one strike. You say I don't, I don't, I don't get that. You will. It means wound, singular. It means a blow. Everybody say a blow. All right. And then the phrase, we are healed. Is anybody getting anything? Yes. Am I going too fast? No. Am I going too slow? No. Is it okay? Yes. All right. All right. The phrase, we are healed, is Rafa. The accent actually is not on Rafa, as many of us said and I have said. It's Rafa. The accents on fa, rafa. Rafa means, it means, it doesn't just mean healed. It means healed. Everybody say healed. healed. Mended. Mended. Repaired. repaired. If there's anything that needs to be repaired in your body, torn ligaments, whatever, repaired. And then it means restored to normal. Everybody say restored to normal. Alright, everybody say healed. healed. Mended. Repaired, repaired, restored to normal. Restored to normal. 
All right, now I'm going to read the McManus translation. Surely He has lifted, carried, taken away our maladies, anxieties, calamities, diseases, griefs, sicknesses, and bore the load. Wow. That's powerful. And bore the load. Transported. Drug Himself along. What do you mean drug? Because He had the cross on Him. Until He fell. Drug Himself along for our anguishes, griefs, pains, and sorrows. Yet we esteemed Him stricken, smitten by God and afflicted, but He was wounded for our guilt, punishment, transgressions, sins, rebellion. He was bruised for our iniquities, the chastisement for our wholeness, soundness, safety, prosperity, health, welfare, security, justice, tranquility, freedom from disaster, no good thing withheld, nothing missing, nothing lacking, nothing broken was upon Him. And by His bruise, strife, wound, blow, we are healed, mended, repaired, restored to normal. Just lift your hands and give the Lord a prayer. Glory to God. Yes, Lord. Yes. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Now, I'm going to the counterpart of these verses in the New Testament. Let's skip all the way over to 1 Peter 2.24. Now, I don't have a McManus version because I, did, I didn't need one here. Because there was a Greek scholar named Kenneth S. Weiss who already dissected this verse out of the Greek. And he's in heaven now. And I would recommend you getting his translation just for this one verse. It would be worth getting that translation just for this verse. Who Himself carried up to the cross our sins in His body and offered Himself there as on an altar, doing this in order that we, having died with respect to our sins, might live with respect to righteousness, by means of whose bleeding stripe. Now he's got brackets here. This is his translation. The word stripe is in the singular here, a picture of our Lord's back after the scourging, one mass of raw, quivering flesh with no skin remaining, trickling with blood, you were healed. There's a lot of wrong information that's been being preached for hundreds of years about Jesus' crucifixion. There are there, there are preachers that have preached. Well, there's, I don't know how many preachers have preached this. There's 39 major categories of diseases, and every disease fits under that because Jesus had got 39 stripes. Wrong. Paul got 39 stripes three times because. Jews beat him. And under Jewish law, you couldn't go over 39. Jews didn't beat Jesus. Ruthless Roman soldiers, they whipped him and whipped him and whipped him and whipped him with the cat of nine tails every time with sharp objects on the end, pulling his flesh. Over and over and over and over and over and over again until there was no skin remaining on his back. It was not stripes. That is wrong. 
by his huge bleeding stripe, one mass of raw quivering flesh with no skin remaining, trickling with blood, you were healed. And like I said, don't go jump a minister because he or she doesn't know this. You can pray for them or send them this message. That'd probably be an easy thing to do. Put it on me. I don't care. I'm preaching I'm preaching God's word. Amen. 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 I'm gonna answer to him. I'm gonna answer to him on judgment day, not man. Oh, can we just worship? Oh, there's healing power that's flowing right now. It's flowing right now in our midst. It's flowing right now. It's flowing right now. I believe we're almost finished. The Lord wants us to go to Psalm 107. Two verses. 21 and 22. Psalm 107, 21 and 22. Verse... I'm sorry. 20, 21 and 22. Three verses. Alright. 20, 20 says, He sent His Word and healed them and delivered them from their destruction. Now, most of the time that verse is taken, and I've been guilty of doing it, just taking that one verse. But now I, I'm gonna I'm gonna add the next two verses to my healing scriptures. Because he he's on the same subject. He didn't stop after delivered them from their destruction. Next verse. Oh, that men would praise. How many of you have heard my teaching on the nine Hebrew words for praise? Or you've read my book, What You Didn't Know About God's Throne. If you've read that book in its entirety, then you, you've read that. One of the one of the Hebrew words for praise is yada, y a d a h, and uh, and it it means to open and extend the hands with praise. Oh, that men would yada and confess to the Lord for His goodness and hesed. In other words, here is hesed again, loving kindness. Translated, in other words, Hesed is connected to verse 20. He sent His Word and healed them and delivered them from their destruction. Oh, that men would yada Him for the Lord, for His goodness and Hesed. In other words, the reason why He sent His Word and healed them and delivered them from their destruction is because of His covenant loyalty. The crown we're supposed to be wearing. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to God. For His goodness and loving kindness, maybe your translation says, for His goodness and hesed and His wonderful works to the children of men. And then verse 22, he's still, on, he's still on the same subject. And let them sacrifice the sacrifices of thanksgiving. In other words, we, you've got the information now today. You know what an awful price He paid for your healing. And now even if you're still in pain, then lift up your hands as a sacrifice of praise 
Because God will keep his secret. God will keep his covenant. And so, and let them sacrifice the sacrifices of thanksgiving and rehearse his deeds with shouts of joy and singing. So right now, if you need healing in your body, I want I want everybody just just close your just close your eyes right now. Oh. Now if you don't know Jesus as Lord and Savior, you you take care of that right now. You say, what do I do? Just just right where you at, say, Jesus, I make you Lord of my life. I turn away from a life of sin. I repent of sin. I renounce it. You're my Lord now. I say it with my mouth. I believe with my heart. God raised you from the dead. Therefore I'm saved. Praise God I'm saved. Thank God I'm saved. Jesus is now my Lord. Glory to God. Now if you need healing in your body, I want you to take I want you to take one hand and put it wherever it is that you're hurting. Just place it right now, wherever it is you're hurting, or wherever the prop, wherever the main problem is. Place your hand there right now. And I want it, I want you to take your other hand and lift it up to the Lord. And I want you to begin to give him the sacrifice of praise right now for your healing. Thank Him right now. Thank Him. Right now, I thank You, Lord. Let Your healing power come into every person's body right now. Lord, let Your gifts of healing move right now. Lord, I thank You for lumps, tumors, Lord, uh, disappearing. Lord, with, Lord uh, new organs. Come in right now in the name of Jesus. Be made whole. In Jesus' name, receive your healing now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Now lift your hands and give Him praise. 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 Lift your hands and give praise. Begin to begin to do something. Begin to do something you have a problem doing. Just, just do it. If you, if you had a problem moving your neck, begin to move. If you had a problem in your spine, whatever it is you had a problem doing, begin to do it. Because you're going to find the healing power is there right now. Healing power is there right now. You don't, you don't need man's hand. Yeah, I can pray for you. And there's many times that God's used me that way. But He's here. The healer is here. He's right here. Give Him praise. Give Him praise. Give Him praise for the healing. Oh, give Him praise. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we give you praise. Lord, we give you praise. Those that are by Facebook or YouTube, right now, receive your healing. Right where you're at. Put one hand wherever it is. Lift up your hands to the Lord right now and receive your healing. Be made a whole in Jesus' name. There's no time or distance in the Spirit. Be made well right now in Jesus' name. Give Him praise. Give Him praise. Glory to God. Amen. If, if pain is already gone from you, then uh, give, lift, give, just, just give, give a signal. If there's anybody that is already gone, Lord, we give you praise. Pain's already gone? All right, glory to God. Where was it? Amen. Praise God. If you need, give the Lord praise. Anybody else? Glory to God. We give you praise. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. I'm going to say goodbye to our Facebook audience. God bless you. Glory to God.